Today's video is all about lights, cameras, action. Not really. It's all about lenses, camera sizes, and color. Let's get right into it. White balance, it's more important today than it was yesterday. ProRes RAW requires it the most, but what I'm talking about today when it comes to color shift between lenses, your white balance card is extremely important to whatever it is you're shooting. Now that we touched upon that and we got that out of the way, the first thing let's talk about is color. And let's talk about color between these two lenses. These two lenses are basically 35 if we set it if we set this one to its highest value and this one natively is a 35 millimeter prime. These two lenses are different when it comes to how they capture tonality as well as contrast. A prime lens will always be sharper and more contrasted than a regular zoom lens. For that reason, regardless, this lens is better than this one. The way light travels inside by hitting all the glass elements changes the tonality and the way the colors are rendered within the camera. And I don't think it really has to do much with the camera, but it is more as to how much light is lost between the front and the back of the lens. So therefore, if you're shooting on this lens, it tends to be much warmer. Let's say we have a midpoint of 4,800 Kelvin. This one will shoot more, like, let's say at 5,500 Kelvin, whereas this one will probably be closer to 4,800, maybe to 47. It tends to be cooler. This lens here is much cooler and contrasty, whereas this one is much warmer, it's more yellow. That's the reason why I'm saying your color shifts. Not sure how much that difference is, but there is a shift in tonality when it comes to video. The reason why I never noticed that in photography is because everything I shoot is raw and very flat for photography. And I usually just shift the Kelvins from one end to the other without realizing what's going on or what type of lens that I'm using because everything is adjustable. In video, everything plays out. And when you put them side to side like I did on day three, you, I saw that difference, but I had no clue that it was due to the lenses until the very end, until after I was done editing. On that day, I did say that, let's say the Z6 was uh, had more, more warmer pleasing tones on the skins, more reddish and whatnot, and it was not due to the camera. The color science within the Nikon is the same in the DA10 and the Z6. The difference was the lens, and how I knew the difference was in the lens was because on the last scene when I came back to do this recap, I had shifted lenses because I was noticing there was a zoom crop in my scene. I saw that the Z6 was further out, so it had it had basically become wider than the DA10, which with the DA10 was using this lens. There's a big difference here, which is the next portion I want to get to, that cropped factor that it fakes to have. The Z6 sits back further compared to the DA10. When you put them side to side, when you use the pins underneath underneath the camera to uh, hold it onto the tripod, they sit in different places. Having that difference gives you a different aspect ratio as to what it is you're looking through the viewfinder. Normally, you would not see the difference, but when you put images side by side like I did that day, it all depended on the angle I was at and how I was shooting. I thought a 35 was a 35, whether you were here or there was no big deal. But I do know one thing, distance matters and that's what gives you the extra reach, all the space that you need to see more. Having that extra inch and a half to maybe two inches between the back of the glass and the sensor makes a difference as to how much you can see in camera. I thought a 35 in this camera, a 35 in that camera was the same thing, all of them full frame. True, they all are full frame. It all depends on the lens, on how far away light is from the beginning or the front of your lens. So here you can see there's about two inches difference between this lens and this lens to the front of the uh, to the front of the glass. How much you can see going at the angle that at a 35 is, let's say it's like this. So this distance is much narrower than this one. This one can see more already because it's already further back. That's the only reason I have behind all of this that makes sense, which I believe should be true. You know, I would just want to pass that along to you guys. So. I hope you learned something, because I did, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next one.